There are warning lights that flash in unison. There is a blur caused by the runway lights. The sound of engines roaring may be heard. There is a continuous shaking that occurs during the night. Within the confines of a sleek cockpit, a pilot takes a breath in during the flight. There is an increase in the throttle. There is a forward movement of this fighter plane. Combustion is occurring in the air, the speed is growing, and power is being transmitted via the steel and metal. It's possible the jet may be used to provide defense for your country. There is a possibility that the jet will carry the voice of your nation. It is vital to note that the heart of that jet is significant in more ways than you might know. It is not the nimble frame or the advanced radar of the Saab JS-39 Gripen E that tells the real story. Rather, it is the components that are located beneath the surface of the aircraft that tell the story. Where exactly is the generator that is located? What spirit is it that is accountable for its existence? To tell you the truth, this is the fact that lies behind the Rolls-Royce engine option that has been proposed for the Gripen. Following the announcement of this possible transaction, the defense community was shaken to its core. As a result of the fact that it shakes a foundation that a great number of pilots, specialists, and nations have taken for granted. As a consequence of this, the rules that are currently in place are modified. These preconceived beliefs are challenged by it. This brings up a very significant question without simply stating it. Who is in command of everything that happens in the sky? Since its inception, the Gripen E has been touted as a fighter that is not only compact but also proficient in intelligence and performance. It is a lightweight frame, replies that are prompt, avionics that are the most recent, having low requirements for maintenance, the reaction time is really short. Countries that had low financial resources or rough terrain appeared to be the recipients of the notion, which appeared to be a gift. For the time being, the heart of the jet is comprised of the General Electric F414G engine, which is produced in the United States. It possesses a powerful force. There is evidence to support this. The legacy that has been carried down via countless missions and testing is a legacy that has been passed down. Because of this, the Gripen E is equipped with a number of advantages, including thrust that allows the jet to take off swiftly, acceleration that causes it to dance in the air, and adequate reliability that makes each mission feel like a calculated gamble that you actually hope to win. They have confidence in it. This is something that engineers are familiar with. The entire globe holds it in high regard. On the other hand, respect is not devoid of any prerequisites. Regardless of how powerful that engine may be, it is the one that is responsible for connecting the Gripen to a convoluted labyrinth of export rules, political checks, and licenses submitted by other parties. The fact that this is the case suggests that the government of the United States has the authority to exercise its right to veto any sale of the Gripen that takes place outside of Sweden. There are a significant number of nations who are under the misconception that the regulatory leash is a threat that is hidden beneath the metal. As a consequence of this dependence, the Gripen's potential as a strategic option is decreased in the view of those who are responsible for strategic planning. In doing so, it undermines the idea of having complete sovereignty over one's air defense system. Those who are responsible for making judgments about national security do it in a manner that is not only silent but also genuine. Following that, a new name was brought up in the conversation that was taking place. An aerospace industry brand name that is rooted in history, engineering expertise, and aspirations in the field of aircraft manufacture. Rolls-Royce is the brand name. This is a proposition that lays beneath the surface of that moniker. Imagine a situation in which the Gripen could fly with a European heart rather than an American heart. Is this something you could imagine happening? Assume for a moment that it is capable of doing things such as drinking petrol from the United Kingdom, breathing air from the United Kingdom, and not being subject to any international export clauses other than the command of its owner. The notion revolved around the engine lineage of the Eurofighter aircraft, more notably the Eurojet EJ-200 engine, and its envisioned enhanced version which is usually referred to as the EJ-230 in conversations that are speculative in nature. The concept sparked a heated debate among those who were present, in large part because it offered something that very few planes do, namely the promise of power while keeping independence. This was the primary reason for its popularity. Imagine a fighter that is thrust similar to that of an F-16, but it is housed in a chassis that is just half as heavy as a big stealth jet. This would be a potential alternative to the current fighter. It is assumed that the quantity of maintenance required is quite low. In the same way that Lego bricks can be replaced in a timely manner, imagine that advanced elements can be replaced. The same goes for compressors and fan modules. 
including turbine sections in the package, but the entire system is modular. This results in cost reductions during periods when there is a relative calm. It is because of this that lives are saved during times of war. It suggests that there is a greater number of departures. The turnaround time is shortened. The amount of downtime will be reduced. Fewer headaches brought on by business logistics. This modular life cycle architecture does not come with any hoopla attached to it. The purpose of this presentation is to convey a true engineering philosophy that is focused on economy and readiness. Additional benefits were anticipated as a result of the Rolls-Royce engine upgrade that was being proposed. It was possible to raise the thrust output to anywhere between 102 and 120 kilonewtons by utilizing more advanced designs, one that is an enhancement to the engine that is already being utilized. As a consequence of this, the ascents are completed more quickly, the acceleration is enhanced, the cargo capacity is increased, and the energy levels during engagements are raised. To put it another way, there is more power for every pound that is used. This punch is transformed into an extraordinarily potent weapon when it is paired with the featherweight build of the Gripen. A consequence of this is that the jet would react not only to the whims of the pilot, but also to the defense policy of the nation. Another thing that was predicted was an increase in fuel efficiency. If it were outfitted with contemporary materials, superior turbine design, and sophisticated thermal management, the Gripen might be able to achieve a larger range per fuel load, a longer loiter time on patrol, and a more efficient fuel economy during long-distance deployments. This is significantly important for countries that have a big quantity of airspace that needs to be protected, a restricted number of bases, challenging climates or runways that are isolated from one another. This is not even close to being the definition of luxury. This is the only available choice. This aspect is what determines whether or not a threat is captured before the sun rises or whether or not it is captured at all. The number of benefits increases over time. On the other hand, the difficulties get more severe. The process of replacing the engine in a jet is not comparable to the process of replacing the engine in a car. Redesigning it in a significant and detailed manner is required. It is necessary to conduct a thorough review of the airframe, which was built on the basis of the F414G's dimension, weight, airflow, and heat output prior to installation. The volume of airflow must be proportional to the amount of air that is taken in. For cooling systems to function properly, it is essential to manage the dispersion of fresh heat. In order to accommodate a variety of stress sites, it is important to alter the engine mounts. There is a need for a revision of the lines that carry fuel and hydraulic fluids. It is essential to retool all of the following. These include maintenance protocols, flight computer logic, and soft wiring. That is each and every bolt. That is each and every sensor. Not a single panel is missing. An adjustment needs to be made to everything. Beyond simple retrofitting, this goes beyond that. The process of rebirth is this very thing. This directly contributes to the extremely high cost that is incurred. In terms of significance, the time investment is substantially more important. Testing on the ground needs to be redone. Simulation runs need to be extended. Pilot training needs to start over from the outset. And maintenance staff need to be retrained and retrained again. The certification needs to be brought up to date in order to bring it into compliance with international airworthiness rules. Revising the approvals for export papers is something that needs to be done so. Patience is essential in order to make these kinds of investments, which are not measured in millions but rather in hundreds of millions, and those investments require patience. It is probable that a great number of nations will raise problems. It is possible that a significant number of persons who make decisions may act in this manner. Continuing with what has proven to be successful is still the most prudent course of action, the well-known and comfortable. A demonstration of this has been made. Consequently, this proposition continues to be a difficult subject within the community. On the other hand, coming from a strategic point of view, it also promises independence. Additionally, it offers a path forward for nations that are seeking to liberate themselves from the constraints of political shackle, a method of exercising one's authority providing them with a means via which they can devise their own defense strategy, a method by which they can utterly possess their weapons and equipment. This is not a rental property. You are the owner of them. For governments that are concerned about alliances, shifting power balances, disruptions in supply chains, or export bans, this path shines brightly as a potential solution. The problem is not confined to just any aircraft or engines in particular. We are dealing with a matter of sovereignty. 
A better understanding of the more complicated nature of modern defense acquisition can be gained from this conversation regarding the engine being preferred. The evidence presented here illustrates that conflicts are not only fought in the air or on battlefields, but also in boardrooms, treaty texts, supply lines, and politics as well. The potential to shape entire alliances, exert influence over export markets, and determine whether a nation is free or restricted is possessed by a single component, which is also referred to as an engine. It is necessary to exercise additional caution because of the weight that lies behind a single jet component mostly owing to the fact that history is rewritten whenever steel and politics are brought together. We are compelled to confront the following question as a result of the claim that was made by Rolls-Royce. Does true power originate from sheer money and scale? Or does it originate from intellectual design and strategic independence? The idea that things that are larger, heavier, and more expensive are perpetually victorious is put into question by this assertion. On the other hand, it claims that when conflict emerges, intelligent architecture, modular design, rapid maintenance, low cost, and autonomy are more important than everything else. It is possible that the Joker is not intended to be sneaky in some theaters. This is something that can happen. There is a possibility that it was built with the purpose of surviving to ensure that it is trustworthy, to be more specific, for our presence. The conversation that is taking place here is not theoretical for nations that are distributed across wide territories, that are susceptible to harsh climates, and that are confronted with risks that are unpredictable. Yes, this is a fact. The task must be completed right away. This will have an effect on flying pilots, taxpayers, families, and futures, among other implications. Beginning at the Baltic Sea and working its way all the way to the Arctic of Canada, from Europe to the Americas, that is the entire journey ranging from the highest levels of governance to the most remote airstrips. There is a significant amount of weight everywhere one looks on the prospect of an engine shift in the Gripen. There is an effect on the policies that govern exports. Consequently, it has an effect on the autonomy of the business sector. A connection can be made between this and strategic positioning. It has an effect on the confidence that exists between nations. Right now, we are at a crossroads where we must choose between two different courses of action. A Gripen is visible in the sky. It takes part in the conflict, protects itself from harm. It serves to protect us. I am referring to the F-414G. Generally speaking, it performs a good job. A proposition, on the other hand, is a plausible argument, a forecast of what will happen in the future, a promise of enhanced control, increased independence, and increased transparency regarding strategic moves is contained inside this statement. If they are willing to take that risk, nations will do so, in the event that they dedicate themselves to that future. If they are prepared to put in the work, money, time, and political will, they have the ability to develop a type of air power that is exclusively accountable to them. This is provided that they do not give in to the pressure that comes from the outside. This is a forceful proclamation of sovereignty that stands tall and proud in its own accomplishments. Within the area of metal and physics, the reality of the Rolls-Royce engine agreement for the Gripen significantly more substantial than what is commonly believed. Regarding one's identity, it is relevant to say a few words regarding the way forward with regard to the destiny of the future. As far as the discussion is concerned, it is not the thrust figures that bring an end to it. At the outset, it is present. In the process of watching aeroplanes take off into the sky, those who are accustomed to hearing the sound of the engine will notice a change. The sound of power that is constrained by restrictions from another country is not taken into consideration. At the other end of the spectrum is a declaration of independence, an indication that a nation has made the decision to design its defenses in accordance with its own expectations and standards, an indicator that building businesses and not merchants are the ones who will be in charge of the future. This particular Gripen is fitted with a well-known British engine. This is a Swedish body style on the geographic center of Europe, a message that is meaningful to people all over the world. Whether or not this in-depth analysis has helped you gain a better grasp of how modern air power is constructed, not only with weapons, but also with choices, laws, engineering, and guts, show your support by indicating that you agree with the analysis, a video that you find appealing. Join the newsfeed for this channel by signing up. Having a conversation about it with someone who is interested in the actual mechanisms that are underpinning defense is something you should do. We invite you to remain with us as we proceed with our inquiry, uncover additional truths, and see how the sky changes with each decision that we make. Primarily because in the end, 
History is not written by the airplanes that fly, but rather by the decisions that are made long before they ever take off from the ground. This is the primary reason behind this.